Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, where I do a little bit of whatever I want today. Oh my gosh, you guys. We're maybe beating Final Fantasy 1. I, I was told this was a short game, but um, it's way shorter than I thought. We are already on the, uh, the fourth crystal. Okay, so we're on the the uh, wind crystal. That's where we're at in the game. So I'm not sure what happens after that. I'm sure there's a final boss after that, but I don't know what that entails or how long that takes. So I have to assume we're very close to the end of the game and we might beat it today. Now, one thing I did do after stream yesterday is I went and looked at the guide that I have um, that I had saved for any time we got stuck just to make sure I didn't miss anything for you guys, okay? And I did find out a couple of things. I did find out a couple of things uh, that helped my understanding that I wanna make sure I show you guys. So first of all, let's get the game going. There we go, you can see it, okay. So I was asking last time, like, how the heck do you find the bestiary? Because I had gotten an achievement for getting 50% of the bestiary. Well, it's under extras, bestiary, okay? So this is, this is all of them. And this is apparently across all your saves. So we actually, you can see, we've gotten a lot, holy crap. It's all the way down to 76 before there's anything where we don't know what it is. And then of course there's a few here and there and there's a bunch, right? I mean, we haven't gone to the, the wind area. So, you know, there's gonna be more. So, so, that's, so that's that. Um, there's also kind of this cool gallery where you can see like art work. Uh, from the game, so I thought, like, that's kind of interesting. Oh, he jumped in the Ochu's mouth, okay. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Yep, okay. So, so that's kind of cool, right? Um, there was also some stuff in the game that I have not shown off, uh, that I didn't realize about. Um, so, okay. I think it is, um... In the, okay, in the town that we found last time, we need to go there because there was something there that I did not find before. So this is just like kind of how the sage area was sort of hidden in Crescent Lake. There's a little hidden spot of this town too. So we're gonna go look at that. Yeah, here we go. Here's the town of Gray. Ooh, I don't need to be running anymore. I don't need to be running. Okay, so apparently behind here, there's something. I don't, I don't know. Maybe this, aha. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's another magic shop that I didn't know about. So this has full life, which we definitely, definitely want. Um, I think I definitely want this over dispel. So sorry, we wasted money on dispel, but like, the heck? I want full life. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then flare. Okay, we definitely want flare. Um see there's stop kill or warp okay I think we'll get this over kill because I because there's no way there kill is like one of the gonna be one of those spells that rarely ever goes off you know what I mean so like no way all right so I think I've got all of his magic filled out I've got all of Lunar's magic filled out. Okay, I'm still missing. Where's the level 7? I need to get another level. I think I ran out of money. I think I ran out of money for this. So we still need one more level 7 spell for Koneko. So let's go find that for them. I have to remember where that is. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't know there was a hidden thing there where you can get some spells. We did not find that before. Okay. Um, I think the level seven spells were back in Gaia, right? Maybe? We're gonna go fly to Gaia and find out.
No wait, Gaia's up here. Let's see, was this the level 7 black magic? Cause I'm a black magic woman. Uh, this is level 7 spells, but this is just two of them. Which we have both of. Here? No, this is our level 8 spells. Just kidding. Alright, what town was before this? Was it Crescent City? Or the Crescent Lake town? I think it was Crescent Lake. Let's go take a peek over at Crescent Lake. See, is this level seven spells? No, this is level six spells. Is there another magic shop here? No, this only has one magic shop. And it has the sages over there. Okay, we will find the spell. I'm not gonna let Koneko have a missing spell slot. That's just messed up. Okay, that's the desert, caravan. This isn't a town, no, that's the waterfall. Oh, this is a town. Can I land here? No. Too big. Oh, no land. Must be here. Yeah, on rack. There we go. Okay, we've got saber or blind. Oh, but we have both of those. Oh, no, we don't. We don't. Okay. Let's get... Yeah, let's get Saber. Okay. Alright, so we're all full. We're all full on spells. Okay. And then there's one other thing I did not show off. Excuse me, dragon. Excuse me. And for this... <laughs> Um, the, we missed this a long time ago, but it is kind of a secret thing, so yeah. Okay, here we go. If you want to get all of your Steam achievements, though, you do need to do this. So let me show you. Oh, I didn't mean to press that button. I'm trying to make the map smaller. There we go. It's like so big. It's like so big. And we kind of know where we're going now, so I don't need it as much. Okay. Um, this port. Okay, so to do this, you have to get in your boat. Okay, and you have to hold the the cancel button. No, hold the hold the command button and press cancel over and over. Right? Or maybe you just press cancel. Oh no, there you go. Okay, play fifteen puzzle. Yes, we want to play fifteen puzzle. So it's a slider puzzle. Uh, yeah. I don't, um, we're gonna try, we're gonna try, okay, now you're in the right spot, I'm sure there are like way better ways to play a game like this, I don't know what they are, um, So 
I'm just gonna do what makes sense to me. go in the right way. It's wrong again. I need to flip them somehow. One second, you guys. I just I have to go rescue the Roomba. Oh, you can't pause on this. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll be right back. All right, Roomba is rescued. Okay. Um, I don't understand how to flip this around. There we go. Okay. Now, five will go here. Six, seven. Okay. This is probably very easy for a certain kind of person.
Okay, they're like all in line except for number nine. <laughs> Okay, now I've got the same problem where I need to flip these. I need to flip 13 and 14 as well. Okay, well, anyways, y'all see how this works. Um, um, I don't know. I'm not capable, I guess. Um, let's see if we start over if I try one more time. And then we won't be worried about this anymore. All you get from this is gill. So it's not really, like, beneficial to getting a certain item or anything like that. It's literally just for gill. And apparently if you're really good at it, you can, um, make a lot of gill this way. I'm doing I'm backwards again Yeah, okay. I don't have the brain for this. Someone else smarter than me will have to do that. But anyway, that's part of the game that I had not showed. So, if you're good at this sort of slider puzzle, you can apparently make a lot of gill doing that because you beat it faster and faster and then um, and you get the gill every time you beat your score. Okay. It is time, you guys. That's the only things I had missed. So now, Oh wait, the desert's over here. Desert's over here. It is time to go into the last dungeon. Dun dun dun. Here we go.
Whoa! That was uncool. The heck? I can't believe they won shot Koneko. There we go, all fixed. All right, Mirage Tower. Mm. Oh, lots of treasure in the middle. Oh, there was a little golem guy. We'll have to talk, go talk to him. There is a Steve achievement for filling out that bestiary, the full way, that I showed you guys, just like there was for 50%. So we'll probably try to do that as well. Apparently nothing's mystical. Like, we can keep going, and then we can always go back as well. Healing Helm. Oh. I assume it's like the healing staff? <gasps> Vorpal Sword. Oh, not as good. Not as good. Okay. Not as good as Defender. Aegis shield is the same. Defense 16. Yeah, I don't I don't understand what the difference is. Well, I'm gonna put on the Aegis shield, because that is a cooler name. Oh, and a tent, okay. Vampires? As a regular enemy? I thought we fought you as a boss. Today, Levi made homemade beef jerky, so here's some strips. We're gonna try it. What's the flavor supposed to be? It's pretty good. Do you think it's supposed to go longer? So there's a little soft. Okay. So it's softer than store bought. It tastes the same. Yeah. It's really good. You taste it yet? Mm. Mm -hmm. No, it's enough. 
He got this like gun thing that you like shoot the meat out of. And then he um and then he cooked it on the smoker. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, master, we have waited so long. Okay. I wonder what I must supposed to be use the warp thing in here somewhere. Okay, it's kind of addictive. And it's not as like chewy chewy as um when you buy it from the store, so like I feel like I can eat more of it. There it is, poison. level 40 with all my peoples. I wonder what level I'm, like, supposed to be. There was an achievement also for getting your party all the way to level 50. Oh. Well, I want to... I want to see what's around back. But I guess those stairs up is probably where I'm supposed to go. But I want to see. I kind of do, too. The flavor is definitely much better and the texture is way better. He's tried a couple other times to make other kinds of jerky. Um. And, like, one. He made one from, like. Oh, Koneko! One from, um. Like, sliced beef. Like, you know, um, really thinly sliced beef. And it was good. But, um, this is better. It's got the flavors, the spices incorporated better. Don't die on me, Koneko! I don't like when they flee. That's XP I'm missing out on. Okay. Okay, is there anything around the back? No, just a waste of my time. <laughs> I was too curious. I had to peek. I had to peek. You know how it is. Can't leave it. Like can't leave it undone. What if there was something interesting? Like a treasure. We'll go up the stairs next. I guess to the next level.
Is this a spiral? I think we're on a spiral level. Oh, I should have... Did I... Did I come in here with 99 potions and high potions? Oh, if I didn't, I should have. There's another little guy. No, it's crazy how low um, HP the black mage is and the white mage is not that low HP. I feel like in later Final Fantasies, white mage's HP is, is kind of like on the lower side, like just like a black mage. But that's not the case here. Because I never kind of, like, from my experience of later Final Fantasy games, thought of uh, white mages as a lot more um, bulky than black mages. But in this, they definitely are. I mean, they still have low defense, but they have high HP, so they can survive longer. What if you had to just party of all all monks? That party would be crazy. Grail! White mage can get reasonably tanky in this game. Yeah, I feel like they are. Like, if it would just let me put a shield on on Lunar, like, she would be comparably tanky to like Landon. You know? I just need I just need the game to let me have her wear armors. Oh more treasure. Okay. It's kind of interesting because it makes me think like Dungeons and Dragons cleric who's quite a bit tankier than what you would think of as like a white mage in Final Fantasy. So this white mage is a lot closer to that. Dragon mail. Sunblade. It's the same as diamond, but it, it, it sounds cooler. So I'm gonna equip that. And what about Sunblade? Oh, Sunblade is a little higher attack, a little less accuracy. Let's keep the Defender on. I like that. Plus it's fluorescent green. Like, can't go wrong with absolutely obnoxious colors, can you? Thor's hammer? Thor's hammer? Wait, is that a new hammer? Is that a new hammer for Lunar? It is. Ooh, and it's nice. That's a big hammer. Okay. Let's see, let's see what kind of damage she do now. What that hammer do, girl? Ooh, I like that graphic too. Like a little purple with a hook action on the back, that's nice. Okay, all right, sweet. And it like, like it lightnings them. That's so cool. I guess because it's Thor's hammer, it's got a little extra lightning effect. Neato.
Oh, it's another one. Oh. What's up, dude? Our friend left on a journey to the west. He took the warp cube and went to see our master. I have the warp cube already. I guess this is your clue if you came here too early. You need the warp cube. I have it. Blyvern. Oh, I can't walk. I can't walk around him. Okay, whatever. Blue dragon. Ooh, very pretty. Very pretty. Um. Oh, he died pretty fast, though. Another one. Use the warp cube to travel beyond the sky. It will take you to the flying fortress. Let's go. So I guess you could get this far without the warp cube and then you'd have to go find it. But we have it. Okay. Ooh, flying fortress, floor one. Earth Medusa. What's an Earth Medusa doing in the air? Oh, I traveled to all the map locations. Treasure. Razor. Oh. They give me all these different kind of swords and like, I only have one sword bearer. I guess it's it's useful if you have lots of others in your party. I feel like you have a party of fighters. So literally, I went in a volcano and had to walk on lava. I went in an ice cave and I had to walk on ice spikes. I went underwater and I had to uh, get the oxy whatever to breathe underwater. And now I'm in the sky and I'm not lightheaded somehow. Don't know how, mystery, magic. I don't need no pressurized cabin. I'm just up here chilling. Oh, and for dinner tonight, we're having duck clubs. Levi's got a duck on the smoker. Okay, I saw the yellow arrow, so that way must be the right way. So we're gonna go left over here. A black flan. Oh. I wonder if I have to use magic. Yep. 
Yeah, magic is better. Okay, magic against the black plans. So they're just like those the other plans. Blue or green, I can't remember. Okay, more treasure. Lots of gill. I think I already bought everything to buy, though. So... <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this gill. And we got a bunch of death knights here. But that's okay. We know how to beat up death knights. They don't want to live anyways. So it's fine. And just to think, this is where those people that we couldn't understand used to live. Like, they used to live up here. They used to just live in the sky. Be in sky, people. Yeah, see that kill? He just cast it on me and it missed. So, I think I was right not to take that spell. Teleport. Okay, more two. Oh, this is another one of those six different ways to go. Okay, well, we're gonna start, we're just gonna start here and go around. Yeah, don't you gaze at me, Medusa. I know your tricks. I'm not gonna fall for them. Don't look at it, you guys. Don't look. Mithril Helm? This is just like... Yeah. A lot of stuff that I should just sell. Oh, wait, I have to magic these. Um, yeah, Thundara. Just using my basic AoE spell. Mm hmm. Oh, I guess it was fire specifically that was good. Whatever. Although Kitty does good damage to him. But Landon doesn't. No, her sword doesn't do much. I guess that makes sense. They're like gooey, gooey flans. Sword probably just like flows right through them. Alright, down this way. Oh. And they're both held. I don't have any spells for that. We have to use remedies. Oh! Oh, it casts Scourge. Confuse, heal. It casts these cast heal. Okay. Oh my god. Stop paralyzing me. Get him, kitty. There we go. Okay, I have to use fire.
White Mage is so sad in the paralyzed animation for real. She looks like she needs so much help. She needs like a hug. <sighs> it's true. I don't like paralyze. I don't like that because there's not a good item to fix it. And there's not a good spell to fix it. You just have to remedy. I should have bought remedies before coming in here, but we'll buy remedies before the end. Because after this, I assume there's like a final dungeon. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Hi. Adamantite? Oh! Oh, I remember. The dwarf wants adamantite. The smithy wants adamantite. Okay, we have to go give that to him. Mr. Smith or Smith Guy, Smithy, I can't remember. It's like Smith or Smithy. In the, in the, um, into the mountain. He wants some adamantite. I had completely forgotten about that. Okay, down I saw the yellow thing. That's the right way, so we gotta check this. Ooh, Spirit Naga. And Air Elemental. Well, at least when it's an air elemental, it makes sense that it looks like a tornado. Except when it was a water elemental, it didn't really make sense. I guess it's supposed to be a hurricane. Rock you like a hurricane. More treasure. Mm, there we go. Took him out quick. Konoko got that quickness. Black robe. White robe. Wait. It's not better than Diamond Armlet. I don't get it. It thinks Sunblade is best. Okay. I don't know why it puts leather gloves on you and it literally makes you worse, Kitty, but whatever. Okay. I don't know why it's giving me those. Because it's not, not optimal. Wait. A robe that guards against fire and instant da death casts Invisor when used. Guards against ice and time irregularities cast Blizzaro when used. Oh. So it's how you get to those specific spells. Okay. Slowing my dudes. Luckily, he don't have very much HP, so it's all good. Some of those item casts do some cool things. Yeah, I didn't I don't see any other way I would have access to Blizzara. So that's kind of neat. Well the sunblade is red. I don't know, I liked neon green better, but oh diamond shield. Oh, and another ribbon. hurts. It hurts her stats to wear a ribbon. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, that's okay. I've got ribbons on both of the casters. That's good enough. So at least they're more resistant to, uh, to various status effects. And gloves, okay. Alright, so I think I got all the treasures off of this floor, so we can go to the next floor, to the south. doing on tre getting treasures 19 out of 33 what's up little lady hey lady you'll come say hi I see a big teleport in the middle lady, what you doing? you seen it right where I cannot reach you Oh, vampires have Regan? That's not fair. That's not fair. I should get to have some Regan. Alright, what's this? From the observation window, you can look out on the entire world. Okay, I, I assume that middle thing is like something I'm supposed to do. Um... Oh no, Blaze, you would. Um, so we're gonna walk all the way around first. Analyzing Tia Mot, no known weakness. Oh. His weakness is me. Let me get that bitch. I am the weakness. This cat. Look at her, just laying there. Oh, this is in the way. Scooch back. Look at that. Look at that baby! She's so cute! It's like flopped on the floor, be like, pet my belly. She doesn't really like belly pets that much, though. Queen does, but not Lady. So it's a little bit of a trick. A little bit of a trick. But you do look cute, Lady. You're thirsty. Bye. That's the same pose my cat's doing right now. Oh, they twin in. They twin in. Oh, what's this? Is it more? Man, they really want me to be scared of this Tiamat. I ain't scared of no Tiamat, okay? I ain't scared. The first bosses were scary, okay? But the Kraken? I was like, I get this game. Bye. And I destroyed that. I destroyed that Kraken. It was like, no big deal. So. I'm not scared of Tiamat. Not at all. Yeah, whatever. The pirates early on were the first really scary thing for me. Yeah! I did not expect them to fight me. Like, I really did not know that was gonna happen. And it was like, what? They like, it was like popped out of nowhere, fight time. I was like, I'm in town! Why am I getting fight? What? 
So, yeah, that was scary. And I didn't really understand the structure of the dungeons, so like early on, it was like, it was like boss time, and I was like, what? What? It felt like it like popped out of nowhere. But now I get it. Now I get it. So, it's no longer scary. There's another yellow arrow. Okay. I don't want to go there yet. I want to finish exploring this floor. How dare they fire on me? I, uh, that's my spell. You can't have it. Man, maybe I should put ribbons on those guys. They are just getting destroyed by status effects. Oh, he's awake again, okay. Oh, I'm out of level threes. Well, I guess we'll Blizzara. Yeah, really the beginning of this game was a lot harder than it's than it is now. Towards the end. I think I just cause I just didn't know what I was doing at the beginning. But the more I, I see the game, the more I'm like, okay, well, you know, this is similar to this or that in other Final Fantasies or whatever. So I'm able to, like, get it faster. Makes sense. Sasuke's blade? Where's Naruto's blade? Hmm? I guess Sasuke's blade must be for Thief. None of my people can use it. Yeah, and it's not a key item. All right. Well, useless to me. I don't have no thief. Geekstra, hello! How are you doing this weekend, my friend? We're doing good over here. I, uh... I think I'm getting close to beating this game. We're on the dungeon that has the last of the four crystals. It was your birthday last week, last year of 30s. Oh my God, Geekster. Well, happy birthday. I'm gonna be there with you soon, my friend. I'm gonna be there with you soon. I'm 37. So like that 4-0 is gonna be here before we know it. It's funny, I've played this game probably five or six times and just realized I've always used the exact same party. You should use a different party. Give yourself a challenge, Braille. We were talking before if we thought like all white mages or all black mages would be harder. Um, all black mages would die a lot, but, uh, but like white mages, they really don't have a lot of offense. Well, I guess it's time to use my fancy new, um, full life spell. You know it, body feeling 93. <laughs> some days, some days it really do be like that. Ooh. That's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that spell. How have you been? I've been good, I've been good. The most interesting thing happening in my life is the medical stuff going on right now. Um, but uh, but we still don't we still don't know what's going on exactly, but um, it's been all good news so far. We've ruled out some pretty bad things. I had a colonoscopy on Friday. It was um, not so fun. 
why is it giving me clothes so late in the game? Like, there's no, what am I supposed to use clothes for? I don't understand. Um. Yeah, I guess I should put a ribbon on him so he can, I just. Yeah, why am I getting clothes this late in the game? I don't understand. Okay, protect cloak. That does... It, okay, there is a shield Lunar can use. It's called protect cloak. Okay. I need to get one. I'm scared to. It actually wasn't that bad. The day and a half before where I had uh, where I couldn't really eat, I had to be a like liquid diet, was the worst part of it. The Ars played through a single thief, I think white mage would be the worst, only because the buffing routine every Friday is tedious. Yeah, it would be. My grandpa and uncle both... Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Geekstra. Well, I, I am... Nothing like that. I was told it's all fine, but we they did take some biopsy and I have to wait for the results of that. It's gonna take a couple weeks. But they're supposed to call me on Monday with like an update and just to check on me and all that stuff. That's why I'm scared to go. Well, you need to though, because isn't that the sort of thing that if you detect it early, it's like pretty easy to treat, but if you detect it late, it's really hard to treat. Like, isn't that what happened to, um, to the, the late Total Biscuit? Y'all remember him? Y'all remember him? He, he was having symptoms and literally just didn't go to the doctor. And if he had just went to the doctor within that first month that he started having symptoms, like, he probably would still be with us today. So, like, you gotta go. Don't be like that. I mean, imagine that. It's terrible. Um... The observation window looks out into the world. The four forces of fire, earth, water, and wind appear as mist converging on a single point. A point at the center of the four altars. This must be the location of the Chaos Shrine. What? Okay, so we do have to go back to the Chaos Shrine. That's why it says I didn't get all the... All the, um, things. Okay. All right, so that is where we have to go. <laughs> my mom said it's my turn to kill chaos. When I get insurance, I absolutely will. Yeah, good luck, Geekstra. I know that's like a that's a terrible part of our medical system. It is expensive. Like if my insurance was not paying for a good portion of it, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't have gotten one. You know. But luckily, they didn't find anything crazy online. So it's all good. They did say they want to do another one in a year. Just in case. But we'll see. We'll see if we can figure out how to get my symptoms under control. That's really what I... That's really ultimately what I want. I just don't want to live like this. I have a stomach of steel, you guys. I've had a stomach of steel all my life. I've never... I've never had this type of issue. Ever. I did try to make a morbid joke to my friend. I said if I was terminally ill... I try all the hard drugs available. I mean, <laughs> if you were ever going to, it would be the time, wouldn't it? I mean, I can't really blame you there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good memes. All right, next floor. All right, floor four. Okay, this is a grid, but it's just holes. I've had colitis my whole life. I think I have ulcerative colitis now. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've never experienced this. I sympathize very much now. I, I don't, I, I never knew. I never knew. I, I mean, I could always just eat whatever, do whatever. It was never a thing. But, uh, but not in, not right now. Not since March. I can literally pinpoint the day it started. It's so s stupid. That's why I'm like so convinced that it's, you know, something. Something is literally messed up. I just don't know what it is. But the doctors think I did get something, like on the cruise, because that's when it happened. Was that last cruise that I got like a virus or something? And my body has since beaten the virus, but. Um, my, my intestines don't know that. No one told them. No one told them, so they're acting like I'm still sick. But I'm not. And I never had any other symptoms ever, just these, so I don't know. But they can't find anything. So. I don't know. 
I think they're gonna ask me to do one of those restrictive diets next. They told me that might be the next step to try to figure out like if something's triggering it. The thing is, is like before I even called the doctor, like the first month it was happening before I even called a doctor at all, I, uh, I kind of sort of did my own. I didn't follow their exact guidelines, whatever. Um, but I kind of sort of did that and I don't think it's, there's any food. I don't think any food makes any difference. Hopefully the restrictive diets and block too much delicious stuff. Yeah, I can't, I can't stand being told what I can and can't eat, for real. I can't handle it. Like, when food is set in front of me, I just want to eat it. I don't want to think about it. Um, I just don't. I don't like that. You know, I've just never been somebody that had those type of problems. I never had stomach problems. I've always been, like, slightly overweight, but never that much to where I cared <laughs> or it mattered, you know? Um, I just, I've never worried about stuff like that. Does your stomach hurt, like, after eating anything? No. No. It's just constant. It's just a constant cramping all the time. There's nothing. There's no food that's triggering it. Okay, I walked forever to... I feel like I walked in a circle. I feel like... Okay, there's still more treasures. Okay. I swear I did walk in a circle. Okay, there's... What is this? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it went on for about a month before I called the doctor. Okay, that was the one I that I went through and I did walk in a circle. Okay, so I need to go this way and then up. Yes, yeah, so after about four weeks of that, I called the doctor and it's been just kind of like then test, testing, and then I don't know, and then test and then they don't know, and then test and they don't know, you know, since then. I used to take fiber every single day because I was having gut issues. Now I take this stuff called fur. Berberine, and it really is. Oh, I hope they can figure out what's going on. I'll look into that. I, I start. I did start taking fiber gummies every day um, to try to uh, make things less liquid lava. <laughs> it sounds so bad. It sounds so bad, and it, it has helped a little bit. Um, the symptoms still there, of course, but it's not as bothersome on the fiber. So it's helpful. Is is berberine kind of like a um what is that stuff the psyllium husks? Is it like that? It allows all the help is cursing as the general public doesn't know about it. Yeah, I've never heard of this. I've never heard of this. Berberine. Is it like a probiotic? I feel like I hear people talk about probiotics and they talk about psyllium husks. Okay, this is the other teleporter, I think. Yes, okay, now we're in a different place. That's encouraging. I heard a bunch of boxes fall over, and 10 seconds later, my cat walks back into my room. <laughs> Thank you, kitty, for knocking all the stuff over. I can post a picture. Yeah, if you could, so I can know what that is. Because I'm going to have, like, if the symptoms don't go away, and they can't figure out what it is, like, I'm going to have to start doing stuff, you know? Um... Like, I'm not an anti-doctor person or anything like that, but I just think our healthcare system, because it's profit-motivated, moves in a different way than what I would like. So I'm not going to rely just on what the doctor says. I'm going to do my own research as well. Like, I'm going to rely on both to try to figure this out. Like, I'm not just going to wait around for them to do stuff. Or tell me stuff, you know. The whole internet's at my fingertips gonna use it oh we totally missed okay we totally missed some um treasure this is the okay hmm there must have been treasure on that other floor that just looked like a circle to me
All right, we're all healed up. Let's go. The Lich, Merilith, the Kraken. You've defeated the three fiends and reached my lofty perch. All right, Tiamat. Your weakness is me. All the better. May the image of Tiamat, the Fiend of Wind, be the last to burn in your eyes. <laughs> Alright, let's get this. Okay. Um, yep, yep. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Flare. Wow. Poison gas meat. Landon did not do a lot of damage there. Okay, what else can we do here? Um, yeah, let's do a... Oh, that's not on everybody. Let's cast Holy. I want to use my big spell. Okay. Okay. As someone who's been taking fiber supplements for years, I can tell a difference in a week with this stuff. Really? Oh, maybe I should have cast Null All. Jesus. That's some damage. Mm, yeah, he can cure himself. Kitty, you can just attack. Um, we are gonna null all. Try to keep Koneko alive. And you just you just keep casting flare. You just keep casting flare, Koneko. That's what we want. Boom boom. There we go. Tiamat's weakness was me. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. Last crystal, you guys. All right. We restored the wind crystal's light. There's four chests that we're missing somewhere. There's also this soda called Poppy that has probiotics and apple cider vinegar. It's good for the gut and it's refreshing. Oh, I'll look into that. Hell yeah, anthropomorphic soul patch. <laughs> That's a name. This boss barely stood a chance, it's true. Okay, let's, um, let's turn random encounters off for a second. I know that's the teleporter out, but we gotta find those chests. I am not going to leave here without all the treasure. I'm a fucking goblin. Okay. I just, I just feel like this floor, there's something about it. Like, is there treasure here? I do not know. I, it's just a circle. So I guess there wouldn't be, huh? I don't... Because I don't understand this. I'm not sure if I've had that brand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I like apple cider vinegar. I mean, I, I love vinegar. I like sour things a lot. So that sounds like good to me. An apple cider vinegar-based soda. That sounds like really refreshing. Okay. I guess there's no treasure on this one. Let's go to the other one. The last one. We missed, we missed a treasure room somewhere. You can't taste it, but it's a healthy soda. What does it taste like? Like, is it sweet? Okay, that's not treasure. Made with stevia. Oh, okay. I like stevia. I've had stevia stuff before. It's pretty good. So sugar-free stevia flavor. I'll have to look into it. I 
Ah, here's what I missed. Oh, another protect ring. Okay. There we go. 33 out of 33. We did it, you guys. We beat up Tiamat. She didn't stand a chance. She was gone, gone. Poppy, okay. I'm gonna remember that. We have orange, cherry, lime. Oh, uh, cherry, lime. I love cherry, lime. Strawberry, pomegranate. I love strawberry, pomegranate. Very delicious. Okay. Thank you so much, Geekstra. I'll go look at that. You, I mean, you already said two of my favorite flavors. I love cherry lime. Cherry lime made's delicious. All right, so now... Oh, wait, what's this? Yeah, the altar of wind. I got it. Teleport. Yes, let's get out of here. Get out of here. Hi, lady. I see you. Okay. Um, so we did that. And I guess next... Oh, wait. Yeah, encounter's on. Um, and I guess next we have to go back to the Chaos Shrine. Get in the airship. All right, let's have a nap. Strawberry lemon? Strawberry lemon's still good. Strawberry lemonade's pretty good. Like I said, I like sour things, so strawberry lemonade is pretty delicious. Okay. We healed, let's save. All right, there's two things I know we need to do. First is, um, oh wait, no, no, no. First is going to the dwarves. We have to give Smithy the adamantite. Is this, wait, where are the dwarves? I've forgotten. Okay, no, that was it, that was it, okay. Smithy, I got your adamantite. This one. Had a cat here on my lip. Is this adamantite? Wait, I have to do the... I have to try to do the accent. Who's? I'll use it to make you find a sword you ever wield. Okay, I guess I get the best sword. Or the finest sword I'll ever wield. Done! In all my years, I never crafted a finer sword. Go on, take her. She's yours. Thank you, Smith. Excalibur. I thought it was going to be the Masamune. Laiho. Oh. I got a steam achievement for that. All right. Excalibur. I don't need none of these other swords now. They are useless to me. I have Excalibur. All right, let's like sell my shit and uh, make sure I'm stocked up on items. And the other thing we have to do is the sages told us to come back and um, oh, I wanna go to the item shop, to come back to where they were chilling in their circle um, once I did the four crystals, which I did do. So we'll go back there too. I never use these. I never use these. I don't. I don't. I, I don't need any of this. I'm just gonna keep the things that do some cool stuff.
Alright. It's fun to read you these games and see all the little things that get referenced in 14. Yeah, that's true! Um, that is one thing that's really cool about 14 is its reverence for all of the Final Fantasy games that came before it. Um, I'm not a big 14 player myself, but, um, but I do appreciate that, uh, that it's like that. Alright. Alright, I think I'm good. I'm all stocked up. It is really cool to see, like, what's been in the game since forever. Like, I didn't expect uh, Sid to be one of those things that was even in the first Final Fantasy game. But um, but there he was. Like, he was mentioned as uh, an air person who built the airship. Like, that's really cool. So he's always been there, and he's always had connection to travel. Okay, let's have a nap while I'm thinking about it. 14's become one of my favorite MMOs. I love the aesthetic and feel of the world. That's so cool. I think Sid, Biggs, and Wedge are in all the games. Yeah. Yeah, every single one. All right, let's go visit the sages. Yeah, there's no chocobos in this game. There's no moogles, but there's Sid. You know, there's Sid. Twelve sages are we, guided to this land by prophecy. I'm Lucan. I see a cycle of wrath, a dim light, guided by destiny, about which our entire future revolves. Four hundred years ago, it was wind. Two hundred years ago, it was water. Then came earth and fire, the four forces that make a- Okay, this is like the same shit they were saying before. Right? Bring the light of the four crystals to us, warriors of light. Only you can do this. I, I, but I, I did. You must travel back in time to the link in the chain that gave birth to the cycle of wrath and destroy it. Okay. You would have no memory of this, but before you wandered into this land, time flowed properly for you. But that flow of time has become warped for you now, in this time. Huh? The four crystals shine once again. The combined power of the light is the only means to break through the wall of time. The architect of this disaster is beyond that wall, 2,000 years in the past. The four forces, okay, gather in the chaos shrine with the forces again flowing freely. The time to go to the chaos shrine and strike the roots of darkness has come. Okay, so literally I just came back here to be told to go to the chaos shrine, which I already knew um, because of looking through that little, that little vision thingy. Uh, in the air of temple. So, yeah. Okay, I didn't really need to come back here, I guess. They just told me, they just told me the thing. I already saw. I already saw. So, okay. Alright, well, let's fly to the Chaos Shrine. Oh my gosh. I don't want to waste one of my spells on these stupid. Just kill them. They're all gonna die in one hit. I need to save first. What is it? What is it, lady? You want to help me beat chaos? We have to beat up chaos. Look at us in our pretty, pretty crystals. 
you focus the light of the four shining crystals, earth, fire, earth, water, and wind, on the black crystal. The flow of time surges and space begins to warp. Just one step forward and you'll travel back 2,000 years in time. Okay. So we're going to time travel, you guys. There's time travel in the very first Final Fantasy. It's always been a little bit science, science fiction, okay? It's always been a little bit science fiction in here, I guess. So we're going to go back in time, 2,000 years. Chaos Shrine, first floor. Okay. I guess this is... Yeah, it's the same area. Okay, so here's where the rest of the treasures are. I'm digging this music. Oh, let's listen a minute. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool music. Okay. All right. These are the final end enemies. Man, I could see people doing speedruns of this game that are like sub two hours with how long it's taken me to beat um, just from like streaming it regular. Earlier it sounded like some renaissance music, yeah. In the, in the earlier part of the Chaos Shrine, before we went back in time. I feel like this place is like very big and empty. Speedruns for this are pretty complex because it all comes down to step routines. But the record is 119 glitchless. It looks like holy cannoli. That's very fast, 119. Yeah, I guess because it's a grid, so it's all about like step down, left, and then like if you step in specific ways, I assume it makes like certain enemies like spawn or not spawn or whatever. Okay, that didn't do anything. Yeah, this place is like really expansive. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I feel like if you really, because if you know what you're doing and you're still trying to 100% it, like, you could probably do this in, like, four or five hours. Because I'm on... Let's see, we did four hours last weekend, two hours yesterday, so this is hour seven, eight. Yeah, we're on hour eight. Yeah, lots of manipulation for step counters to stop enemies. Makes sense. Because that would be the time suck, right? Is the, the random encounters. Like, if you turn random encounters off, like, this game would take no time at all. Okay, I can't go that way. Okay, what is happening? Okay, wait, I can go down this way. Okay, and there's another stair. Oh, black plans. Okay, I know what to do with these. Fire. Fire, fire.
right, let's take these stairs up since it looks like I don't have any other choice. I'm not, I don't see a lot of treasure chests here. I need treasure. Oh, you wouldn't all blaze. Oh my god, I just, and I just passed fire. Oh, they all three tried to null blaze. That was a waste, you guys. That was a waste. Wow, that null blaze really does help. Very empty. Makes me feel like I'm going the wrong way or something. Like I'm not supposed to be here. Is that like purposeful design or is it just because it's towards the end of the game? Oh, here's something. Steampunker, hello! My favorite music track in the remaster is in this place. The music is really freaking cool. We were just saying that. Okay, a death eye, all right. There's some treasure. I play the opening. <gasps> oh. Okay, wait, but we gotta get this treasure first. Gimme elixir. And a dry ether, okay. Yeah, the music here is really beautiful. Really sets the tone. All right, let's go down. All right, don't y'all block me with no blaze this time. Alright, it was time to heal. What's in here? Nothing. 
Why is there so much nothing? Did they just not have stuff 2,000 years ago? And it's so clean and shiny in here too. Unlike everything else in this game so far has been kind of like old or dusty. Um, some of it's better taken care of than others, but it's all been kind of old. But here it looks like it's like polished. Like people use this, but not me. I, I don't belong is how I feel right now. But there's not just like random treasure chests for me. Because this wasn't for me. Like it really is a shrine to chaos that's being actively used by parishioners. That's what it feels like right now. And these monsters are here because this is their area. I'm like an invading force. Trying to change what they're building here. A day without punching dragon zombies is a day without sunshine. That's true, oatmeal. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I ordered your your um your copy, the author copy to do the signature for you. I sent your partner a screenshot so you guys could see the window that Amazon told me for when it would be here. So then when I get it here, then I'll send it to you. You're so welcome. You're so welcome, oatmeal. I think your collection is really cool. Like, that's such a neat thing to collect. Yeah, none of these, none of these had stuff for me. Man, and I'm back to where I was. I think I did something wrong, because there's nothing here. Even though I had to, I had to play music to get down here, so obviously this is where I was supposed to go. So something's up. I missed something. This little guy's back. Yeah, I missed something. That stairwell.
Okay, I'm just I'm just backtracking at this point. Like I don't Nothing happens there. Going back to current time. Okay, there's a stairwell over there, but I can't get there because I can't go up at all. I can't leave the Chaos Shrine to go out into the wider world. just back the way I came, or the only other option is coming in here. Why does it this thing respawn every time? I'm just gonna beat it up every time. Okay. Then I went down here. And then this allows me to come this way. And none of these rooms have anything in them. Alright, if y'all know where I'm supposed to go, tell me, because I'm about to look it up. This is back on the first floor. Okay. Maybe I just got myself turned around? Okay. I think I am progressing now. This is back on the first floor, and then we're going to go back down. Okay. I'm just dumb, and I just got myself turned around. Too many random encounters made it difficult. Okay. We're back on track. of Earth Elementals. We went from vampires to Earth Elementals. Kind of like when we were in the Earth Shrine. That's interesting. This feels like going down the Via Infinito. Like we're refighting. <laughs> we're refighting all of the monsters that we had from earlier in the game. Okay, I think I was supposed to go down the middle. Not this way. Let's go back. 
Yeah, I have ribbons, so you're not gonna be able to do that to most of my people anymore. Can't status affect me. Oh? Huh? Oh no, it's a dead end. I wasn't supposed to go this way. Dang it. I was, I was doing right. I wasn't supposed to walk down there. <laughs> okay. You know, it's funny, we were talking about Final Fantasy XIV earlier. Um, my husband is actually out in the living room playing Final Fantasy XIV right now. Since it released for Xbox, of course, he reactivated his account um, and has been playing it on the Xbox. I think that's like so crazy that that game can still be going so, um, so many years later and still find a way to grab a more audience just by going on another console. Like, that's amazing to me. More MMOs should have console version. Boy, what is that? That looks like the Earth thingy. Let's see what's in here first. I gotta, I gotta check this door first. I gotta check this door. The Earth Medusas, though, those are up in the sky area. But that little orb is yellow, like in the Earth area. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's a whole lot of nothing here. Okay. Oh, this is the other side. So okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right. It's just all these PlayStation exclusives going to PC now. They're getting to experience what we've been experiencing. True. True, true, true. I think I think they should, though. Oh, the Lich. Okay. I didn't see this coming, you guys. Yeah, we gotta fight the Lich. Okay. Let's do it. Mm. Let's fire his ass. Oh, you can flare now. You can flare. Wow. Wow. I did not expect this. Um, can you help us? Oh my god. Thank god we have full life. Yeah, he's super rude. Like the fuck. I did not ask for this. Oh shit, he's just gonna keep killing me. Oh my god. Um. What should I do? Is this going to do anything, or is he just going to bounce off of him? He's probably just going to bounce off of him. <clears throat> Thank god I got that full life spell. Flare your ass. Thought you could flare me. Can't believe you opened up with that. Just wrecking my whole shit. This game is hard again. 
Luke, why? <laughs> There we go. Yeah, miss every time with that kill. Miss every time. There we go. Why he made me scared like that? That was uh, so unnecessary. You did not have to do that, Lich. You did not have to do that. Man, Lich 2... Lich, Lich 2000 years ago was so much more harder than Lich now. Jesus. Okay. God. Okay, well, we beat him. Oh. Oh, look who's to the right. Look who's to the right. I would say the Lich got old to explain it, but that doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. An older Lich should be more powerful. So I don't really know what's up with that. Alright, let's go around and um, fight the fire one again. So this game has flair, but I, I'm noticing it doesn't have Ultima. So that's interesting. Oh, can't go that way. So like, flare is your top spell. Huh? Oh, I have to go this way, okay. Alright, let's heal up. Fire time! Oh, well, we have to fight these first. Lady, I see you down there. You're so cute. Alright. Here we go. Mar Marlith. I had even forgotten what their name was. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's beat up Marlith. Um, let's do... Where's my Protectra? There we go. And we're gonna Lazaga you. Whoa, that was a lot of damage, just a regular hit. And protected already? Oh, 
Whoa! Koneko's dead. Oh! Koneko's not dead! I thought for sure. My god. What is it, lady? You wanna help kill Marlis? Wanna help? Don't let Kenneth die, that's how you can help. I know, this thing is great. Look at all the HP. And look at all the HP she has. Oh, there we go. Oh. Mm. Jesus. All right, so. Let me quick save. We've beaten two of them. I guess the next two are next. Okay. All right, you guys. So, we are going to... Take just a quick break here. Oh, here's Lady. Here's Lady for break time. Hi, Lady. Uh, I really need to get some more water and stretch. I'm gonna be like, this is super, I, wanna, I really wanna beat this game today. I feel like we're so close. So, oh my gosh. Um, so we're gonna do that. So the break is gonna be really fast today. Really fast, like literally like a minute. So y'all don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. And uh, and we're gonna beat this game. Um, if you're watching the recorded version of this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Hopefully the next episode is the last episode and we beat it. Okay, all right. You guys, don't forget to make it a great day.